John, talk about the dangers of fracking to the Meander Reservoir. Uh, Meander Reservoir. Um, right now we have five frack pads inside uh, inside the watershed, uh, the protected zone out at Meander Reservoir. Um, this is total irresponsibility on the on the part of ODNR. Those frack pads should not be there. If there's an accident inside the watershed, when it rains, it'll take it right to the reservoir. Um, Are they producing right now? Well, they know they. Uh, right now, there's approximately six wells on those pads that are drilled, okay? They drilled them, they completed them, they know what they have. All of those wells are now capped. They're not plugged, they're capped. They're waiting for the pipelines to come in so that they can simply take the cap off, hook it up, and be in production. So those wells are ready for to be placed into production. Okay. And what would that mean for the city water? Um, well, when they put the wells in production, it uh, really doesn't mean that much different. Because um, the, the majority of the uh, problem would be during the frack process, during the drilling process, which it, and these things have already been done. Um, the added danger would be once the wells are put into production, there's flow back and produced water that comes back up with the well and the gas that have to be trucked away. And this produced water a lot of times is radioactive, um, highly toxic, and it has to be trucked out of there in trucks that take it to an injection well like Niles. Um, now, they just had an accident in Ohio where a truck flipped over on the road, and um, it's basically because the, the truckers they are also exempt from a lot, of, a lot of the rules that other truckers have to abide by, like uh, the hours of service. Uh, so we can have a totally legal frack truck driver hauling toxic frack waste in our, in our watershed, on our highways that go over Meander Reservoir, uh, in our cities. Downtown Niles, for example, there's an injection well downtown Niles, and there's frack trucks going downtown Niles all the time, bringing this stuff with drivers that they can have as many hours as they want. Uh, if they can make money, they're going to make money. And if there were an accident, then no one would be liable? Well, they'd still be liable, but they've, they, they, uh, driver fatigue is not an issue here. They're allowed to drive as as long and hard as they want, and when you're paid by the hour, a lot of these guys are just going to keep driving. So the likelihood goes up. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you very much.